Welcome back, this is RB. If you like this video at any point, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps us grow. Let's get into it. We got a okay. question. Wait, no, y'all gotta get out the frame. Why can't we go to the frame? Okay, I'm here with Aida. Okay, truth or dare? Dare. Get away from her. Get away from her. No. Yeah, she just couldn't control the jealousy. He told her to get out the frame. She was blocking the shot. She got her feelings hurt. So now she got to shut everything down. And I'm sure she was already jealous of the cute friend anyway. The cute friend, slimmer, cuter. So I'm sure there was already something brewing deep down in the pit of her stomach. So now she's going to hate her even more that she was getting attention and she was the main attraction to the, to the show. But like I always say, most women can't handle rejection. And when they do get rejected, you know, somebody got to pay. Ladies, don't be like this. It's really unbecoming of you. I would love a relationship mm -hmm. that um, makes my life better than it is. Yeah, but look, you're already rich and famous. You're older. You're not going to get a guy who's going to make your life better. Because basically that's saying you want a guy who has more money than you, more fame than you, more status, yada, yada, yada. But a guy who has all that is dating 20 to 30 year olds max. You know, it should be about companionship at this point and making each other's lives better. It's not just about somebody who could come in and make your life better. You selfish horse. This is sickening. You know, you're going to be single for life. I have no interest in just being in a relationship to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I can have a wheel of lovers. You can, but you're tired of having a wheel of lovers. You've been having a wheel of lovers. That's not a flex. I don't know how old she is, but I'm imagining over 50. That's sad. She still think it's a flex to say, I could have a wheel of lovers. That's not impressive at this age. Why haven't no one stayed? Why haven't you been able to make a relationship work with none of the tens and tens of men, I'm sure, that you've been intimate with? There's no way to reframe it where you're high value in that situation. I can't keep a man, but it's not me, though. It's all the bad men. Well, why can't you find a good man? Why aren't good men trying to holler at you? So you're telling me out of the 30 to 40 dudes you didn't have something to do with in your life, all of them was bad? What does that say about you? That those are the guys you picked to have something to do with. Most people aren't single by choice. Most people on this planet want a companion at some point. Complaining about not cooking, but it's like I'm not cooking because I'm working 12 hours okay, a day. Okay, so, so if you want to be taken on a date, you want to still be romantic. After we work long hours too, we supposed to just say, okay, we was busy and we had a long day? What? You know what he said. We both working, but we both have to still do our duties in a relationship. You, you get the point. They act like they can't hear when somebody hit them with logic. Huh? Well, what you say? Oh. Come again? You heard him. No, it doesn't work that way. That's not the same thing. Yes, it is. That is not the same it thing. It's very similar. I'm giving you, I'm telling you what I need from you, and you aren't providing it because you're too tired or you work long That's hours. That's a big deal, though. Like, you want somebody to physically be in the mood to have sex. Going out to eat with somebody and going on a date after work versus being like, oh, I'm in the mood to have sex with this man. Okay, bedroom fun take a lot less effort than taking a shower, getting dressed, getting in the car, Got to stop and get gas, drive to the restaurant, wait for your table to be ready, sit down, <laughs> eat, <laughs> get up, get back in the car, drive home, get out the car, get undressed. I think that's more work. Maybe I'm crazy. After I've worked 12 hours a day and got the kids in bed are two different asks of somebody. So I think this, like I think those this are two the, different levels of what you're requiring. Men and women. If you're my woman, I'm always in the mood. To that's because that's you. how y'all are wired. It don't matter if I'm tired. Y'all could be if... depressed and want to have sex. Y'all be because, broke and want to have sex. Like y'all are going to be horny. You're my woman. That's not going to change. You have money as a man. You're going to get the women that you want. No, but you make it seem like it's just easy to have yeah, money. Like, what, it's what, not, but y'all either can get some height or y'all can get some money. I'm sorry, man. A lot of, a lot of females is ding bats. The prettier they are, the higher the chance it is that she's going to be a, a, a fucking dummy. Get some money or get some height. Look, all women who are just chasing the bag and chasing the tall guy, you're ruined. I'm sorry. Once you get it set in your head that, oh, he got to be tall and he got to have money, you don't even know what a relationship is supposed to be about at the core. It ain't about money and height. These women are one night stands at best. I don't care how bad she is. Her brain effed up. 
Yeah. You can't you just do? get hype. You can't buy. What the f am I listening to, AG? What the f am I listening to? What the f am I listening to? Get what am hype. I listening to? You get can't hype. just get hype. What the f are we saying? You are literally talking about things that you cannot get.